Hello everyone! So good to see you. If I wish I could see you all out there. But uh, I thought I would do a what I'm loving this month or this the start of this month. It's only the beginning of July so instead I thought maybe instead of doing a favorites video from June um, and do something more in the past. Uh, I would do something that I'm really looking forward to this coming month or for this new month of July. So uh, I thought I would do just the things that I am really interested in and loving right now that I am going to be just kind of diving into and just immersing myself in into for this coming month. So for the rest of this month. So let's get into what I am loving so far. Let's start with books. The um, I'm not much of an avid, avid reader to be honest, but I'm trying to just get better at reading more and um, I do have some, some goals in mind for just trying to at least accomplish reading at least one book if not two books a month, which is actually really hard for me. But um, so uh, let me just show you what I took out from the library. Um, I took two books out from the library. I've already read, I've already started my goal. Like my goal started a couple months ago and I've been reading. Um, I've been finishing book, a couple of different books um, that I've just been strictly taking out from the library and not making any purchases. But um, for this month, um, I'm reading The American President Reagan, and this is just a biography by Larry uh, Schwekart. Uh, um, I have no idea who the author is, and I'm not a big political person, So, but I do love biographies, and um, I am, I've become more interested in, um, I guess, more politics over the years, and um, not on a huge scale, but um, as far as just individuals and past um, um, former political f figures like presidents, vice presidents, um, people like that. Um, uh, and so I took out this book on Reagan. It's a very large book, if you can see, and I've just really um, kind of just cracked it open and just begun reading it. So. I don't have too much to say about it yet, but um, it's so far it's very interesting. It still has it's still keeping my attention, so I'm gonna continue reading it. I'll get through it, but I will. Uh, but um, that is one book, and I got this out from the library. And then the second book uh, that I also took out from the library is *Think and Grow Rich* by Napoleon Hill. Um, I watch quite a bit of Lewis Howes. Um, he has a YouTube channel and a podcast and he's an author and um, I, he had someone on that recommended this, some like a financial, someone of the, in the finance world. Um, he had, he uh, was talking about just some books that, you know, everybody should kind of just read or have read. Um, and uh, this is by Napoleon Hill, The Think and Grow Rich. So. I am currently reading that. This was also taken out from the library, so I hope to finish this throughout the month of July, um, but I am enjoying it. And then for my third book, something a bit fun is the Harry Potter series. So if you can believe it, um, believe it or not, I've never read any of the Harry Potter books. To be honest, I was never really interested in Harry Potter until now. Um, I actually want to go through the entire seven books. Um, not that I have like this dying interest in Harry Potter, but um, I, I, I am, you know, it's, it's a very popular series, so I would actually like to know about it um, and um, just kind of know what everybody else is talking about or what everybody else has been loving. Um, and also there's Harry Potter World, so I am on the Sorcerer's Stone, which is the very first well, which is part one, and um, I haven't yet started it. This I actually purchased at Barnes and Noble, um, and I cannot wait to start reading it. Um, like <laughs> I thought about maybe if I finish all seven books, um, then my next adventure would be after reading these books. My next adventure would be actually going to Harry Potter World. 
Um, I just thought that was kind of neat. I, I just, I can't believe that there is even a Harry Potter world that you can go to with rides and things like that, but it's somewhat intriguing to me now. I don't know why. So I am on the Sorcerer's Stone and I've never read Harry Potter, so I can't wait to just like be part of what everybody else is talking about, what everybody else knows about Harry Potter. Um, I barely watched the movies. I've I've seen little clips here and there, but I couldn't like, tell you exactly what the story is about at all. So, um, yeah, here we go. I, I can't wait to start this. Next is fashion. So one of my favorite things um, that I love is fashion. So two things that I am loving right now that um, I will definitely get so much use out of over the summer or just perfect for summer are these bandeaus. So this is just a, a like a skin tone color bandeau and I've been wearing these quite a bit for like the last couple of weeks um, since it's been fairly really hot here. Um, I just will like lounge around in them or I'll sleep in them. They're perfect for, I'm wearing one right now if you can see. This is just like a little tube top with the bandeau underneath but um, it's just perfect for for summer or if you're on vacation or you those strapless tops or those tube tops where it doesn't have any padding. Um, throw a bandeau underneath it and you'll get the protection and it'll just look um, so much nicer and you'll get the support too if you if you need that support. It's just like spandex and elastic um, and uh, there's no underwire or anything and they're, they're really really comfortable. And then for the second fashion item is just an accessory. These little scrunchies, they are back. They People wear them all the time. Um, you know, they were really popular back in the 80s, and they are, and 90s too, and they are back in style. I love them. This one I got at H&M, and I bought a couple different colors, but it's just a pretty, uh, like a peacock, or not, like a navy blue, a midnight blue, peacock blue. They're in a crushed velvet material, and these hold really, really well, so it's like you can just tie it up Put your hair up in a, in a bun and it will it actually will stay so I'm loving scrunchies lately and um, uh, we'll continue wearing them so that's for the fashion the next is food so let's get into food there is one product that I have tried from Trader Joe's it's the avocado oil spray and I don't know if you can see it like that but um, it's an all-purpose, it's great for high heat cooking. It's a great high heat cooking oil avocado spray, if you don't already know. And um, um, I use it to like fry up some eggs and it just works perfectly. Um, it doesn't have much of a, a flavor. Um, it's just nice and pleasant, pretty neutral and great for um, frying things up, cooking things over the stove, that kind of stuff. So been using this and it's non-stick so my eggs just kind of flew off the pan um, uh, and it works really well so I love this another food little recipe that I've been loving lately is just this really light uh, salad dressing it's just olive oil fresh lime and um, a little bit of apple cider vinegar just mix it all together and then just kind of go put it over your salads or whatnot but it's just a nice really refreshing flavorful, simple salad dressing. So I'm loving that. So instead of using, um, eating dairy milk from cows, I've been eating the the goat's milk or the sheep's milk. So, and it comes in yogurt form, milk, everything. And I've been loving the yogurt, the goat's milk yogurt. Um, and I will add some wild blueberries or some just regular fresh berries or strawberries um, with some nuts like walnuts and pistachios and um, I absolutely love that for especially breakfast or like a midday snack um, and so that I'm loving also and we'll definitely keep eating that in July for sure and when it comes to makeup products um, what I am currently loving is the Bite Lip Gloss. This one I found actually at Marshalls, and it's in Guava Puff. Now, the, you can still purchase this, um, but this, it, you can see the applicator. It's like a lipstick tube-shaped applicator, and it just twists, and the, the color comes up 
through this little like hole in the center and you just apply it that way. It's just really, really translucent, simple. It gives that, that beautiful bit of shine and it's a little sparkly but not too, too overkill too much. Um, but I absolutely love this. I love this, pairing this with like a lipstick color or something or just wearing this on its own. Um, it's really hydrating at the same time and um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So what I found out is I heard that Bite Beauty is going out of business. Um, so they're coming to an end of, of the company and I'm just so sad. Um, Bite Beauty is actually one of my favorite. It started out as a pretty much a lip product company or like ma they mainly had lip products in the beginning and then they kind of expanded and they came out with all kinds of other makeup products. But um, they used to have the Lip Lab, which was this really great fascinating thing where you could create your own lipstick with like f you know with like natural ingredients and incorporate natural ingredient ingredients like fruit extracts and um like you know different types of oils and stuff like that and then you can create your own lipstick and that's what the lip lab was all about um but if they're I, if they're closing if their business is closing I'm, I'm terribly sad about that so um but this is just one of the lip glosses that i um, just will continue wearing and um, it's just really beautiful. Uh, another makeup product is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer by Koki. Um, this is in medium beige, my shade, but um, I typically don't wear too much under eye products like concealers or complexion products like foundations, but um, I absolutely love this. I, this is fairly new to me and um, I will continue wearing this. Um, with. Uh, just a little bit under the eye. It helps to brighten. It gives like that beautiful glow to the skin. Um, so I absolutely love this. This is a drugstore brand. It's a very affordable brand. I think this costs like $5.99, $6. And it's a full size. It's, it works really, really well. It conceals and brightens at the same time. So I am absolutely loving this right now. The final thing that I am loving um, this month is um, exercise. So I've recently, like, well, it's been a couple of months now that I uh, started with a personal trainer. Now, I've never been a personal trainer kind of person. I've never really been a big workout fanatic at all. And I would always just do like maybe like a little jog every other day or like a couple times a week. And then I joined a gym um, and that really kind of helped motivate me to kind of be more consistent about just exercise. But I was always just very, just simple. I just would do like a jog, a one mile jog on the treadmill, and that was it. And I thought that was like a great workout. It did help, it cleared my mind. It um, reduced some of like, reduced stress. But I never really thought beyond that and to actually work with a personal trainer. So what actually made me work with one is the gym itself. So um, <laughs> they they got they caught me. Um, the membership that I, I have, you get like a free one on one like thirty minutes um, consultation with a personal trainer. Now what I didn't realize was it's really to get you to pay more money and to essentially um, work um, get you know buy a, a personal. Um, personal training session package where you're you're, pay, you're paying for the personal training sessions in addition to your monthly membership to your membership and uh, they got me so not only am I paying like $26 a month for my gym membership I'm now paying $188 a month for my personal training sessions however um, I've decided to I did downgrade to just two times a month whereas before the last couple of months I've been going f once a week you know, every single month for the last two months, once a week, so that's four times a week, uh, four times a month. Um, it's a 30 minute session with a personal trainer. But let me tell you, like I, I've never, I've almost been against personal training sessions and, and lifting weights and all that kind of stuff. I never thought that I was the type of person that needed it. I thought I had this idea in my head that by lifting weights, I was going to build more muscle and get really bulky, which I didn't want because I thought that I, I'm already pretty, um, I'm only 4'11", but um, 
I naturally am muscular, so it's very easy for me to build muscle like really, really, really quickly. So I always thought that by lifting weights, um, I was gonna just build more muscle in my legs and in my arms, which, I, which is what I didn't want. What actually happens is I've been working with my personal trainer and he's been having me like do some weight lifting, but it's done the absolute opposite of what I thought it was going to do. It is slimming me out. It's I'm looking more slim, more toned, um, but surprisingly, like it's actually doing, it's making me look slimmer. So um, I love it. I absolutely love the the weekly sessions that I have, and um, I, you know, I have my homework during the week. So when I don't see him on the one day, I I actually do the exercises that he's taught me. You know, when I'm at the gym on the other days by myself. So I absolutely love personal training sessions. I love them. And I'm gonna continue doing them. Um, I have one more month where I'm going once a week and then come August, I am going down to two times a month. So just like bi-weekly, uh, once every other week. And it's a 30 minute session each time I go. But he's really taught me, my personal trainer has really taught me to you know, all these different, like, a foundation on how to um, just, you know, do other things other than just running, um, where, like, by lifting weights, by doing these different types of, like, isolation exercises, you are actually really going to, it's going to really benefit you, your, your body, it's going to really change the way you look, and it has. It's completely transformed the way I look, my body, um, and I absolutely love, love it so much. So I am so happy that I tried it out and that like my, my actual gym kind of did kind of encourage me to sign up for these, these sessions. But boy, let me tell you, if you can do it or try it out, I would absolutely try it out um, or just go online with some videos and just learn how to um, do some like lift weighting, uh, weight lifts. Um, I just do real basic, you know, like five pound, 10 pound, um, different types of exercises using like, you know, lifting the weights with my arms, um, doing some like leg lunges and stuff like that. And um, I've been really consistent every single week for the last two months. And I know I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm pretty disciplined. I feel disciplined then I'm gonna continue going and I'm excited about it. Like I actually love it now. So um, another thing about uh, my trainer is he, he does like hit intervals. So I'm doing like the 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And um, I do that in like reps of three. So as you do it three times, um, you do like like a series of three different exercises, either with weights or do lunges, and then um, you you break um, for 30 seconds. No, it's 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off um, for each exercise. Exercise, but you do um, a series of three exercises, and then you do then you change to like another series of three extra different different exercises of three different exercises after so it totals about like a half an hour workout which is not a lot you don't even have to work out for 30 minutes if you don't have the time you know but um i have seen a significant change in the way i look in my body um i have more energy i feel stronger it's been incredible so so those are the things i am loving for this month of july um and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!